Hey, what's up everyone? It's been one week since we arrived here. We got here last Tuesday and this is Tuesday on the second week. Friday, we left a little early. Last Tuesday was a lot of logistics, but since then it's all been nothing but labor. Let's review through the project and see where we're up to right now. We've been working very hard and now it's time to set the rocks in the pond today and also fill the last layer of gravel in the wetland, which is a layer of three quarter. The guys just showed up with five yards, probably need three more tomorrow. We're moving along nicely, hopefully more rocks rock shows up today. We got our work cut out for us. We hope to set tons and tons and tons of boulders. So real quickly on the project here, we have the pond all reshaped out. We did all that three quarter inch gravel, left the fabric, old fabric in there. And to get to this point, it's been very hard. We started off with an old pond here. We drained all the water, ripped out all the liner, any remaining rock and gravel, especially the stuff that was in this wetland area. We left that fabric, came in with three quarter inch gravel, made shelves, and then put a little more fabric and then covered those with topsoil. We are at a depth of about four and a half feet right now. So we have a five inch edge for retention and a four foot depth of water in this pond. In front of me here, where Felipe and Christian are standing, is the wetland. We're bringing in that last bit of three quarter inch gravel into here. Valdo is filling that into the machine bucket right now. Christian has the transit stick setting up for the proper height. Felipe and Christian will be spreading the gravel throughout the bottom of the wetland. After that, we'll be able to set rocks on our perimeter. The job site turned into a real mud mess from a little bit of rain the other day. We're trying to keep the driveway as clean as possible. That's really important. There's new pavement here. We have fabric and we also have plywood over the driveway. And the man, the myth, the legend, Raphael over here is filling pea gravel into super sacks so we can lower the pea gravel to the bottom of the pond. And we'll use that for the base under the big boulders. A lot is going on right now. We got three quarter inch gravel layer going in the wetland. Christian is spreading some three eighths inch pea gravel along the bottom of the pond, right around the perimeter. And that's gonna be used to set the boulders on. It allows us to level the boulders easier as well as removing the strap. I am sitting inside the big machine. You can see me in the uh, mirror right there and Baldo's up there over there in the truck. While I'm inside this big machine here, I am taking some boulders and placing them over here to be strapped. This is a very exciting moment. Some of the first rocks are going in and we're ready to start rebuilding this thing. This is gonna be Ralphie's first time picking the spot where the first boulder goes in the pond on a large project. He's gonna tell me where and then that one's gonna go in and then it's rock after rock after rock after rock. Who you got Right here? All right. Sounds good to me. One, two, three. So another rock delivery showed up, so I had to hop out of the excavator. But Ralphie is well skilled in it, and he hopped in the link belt, and he's setting rock with Felipe and Christian down below. They just put a piece of pipe in the bottom of the pond and that's gonna act as a fish cave. It's four foot long and we're gonna frame out the front of it with boulders. Another load of rock is coming this afternoon and we're moving along great today. The bottom section of the pond is fully rocked in and we're ready for the next tier. We're gonna do a little different edge treatment over here where the machine is sitting. The liner will eventually fold back and we're gonna dot a whole bunch of boulders in here. Some beautiful, beautiful driftwood and wood from on the hillsides around here like that piece right there. Michael, the landscape architect, is gonna plant this out and make it look like a nice big marsh area. So we're on day six here up in Woodstock, New York and we're gonna continue rocking the pond. The first thing we're gonna work on today is getting that waterfall set the bottom grade area for the boulders to sit and then we're going to work our way out to the intake bay once we get all our elevations ready to go then we can actually pull the liner back this morning and start setting boulders on the upper area as we do that we'll move around the pond the guys are also coming with more three quarter inch gravel to finish that wetland off and then we'll be able to start rocking in there as well so we're moving along really nicely we got the soil in the intake bay area we got the proper grade and now we're just gonna test it with some aqua block to make sure we're at the right height for the cobble and the water depth of 12 inches. Once we get that done and checked, we can flip this liner back over. We're gonna need a piece of fabric on top of the liner and the blocks and the material will start going back in. And then we can start setting some boulders in the distance. I'll be able to rest my blade here on the excavator and reach out to right around where we're Felipe is. The other rocks will be set from the other side from the driveway. As we're working on this, Raphael is over there in the skid steer and he's been bringing some bigger rock over to be ready to be strapped and set in the pond.
We're on day eight up here at Woodstock, New York. Myself and Christian are always here earlier in the morning because we have been staying in an Airbnb. And behind me, you can see there's a big flat rock that we are gonna be setting in here for a destination stone on the patio. It's a large natural stone from the area. It was in the original pond, and it's gonna be going back in as a great spot for the homeowners to be able to feed their fish from. That stone is gonna be located right in this area. Christian and I just put a nice bed of gravel behind these rocks, and that rock can sit down inside there, and it'll bring us right up to edge level, which is the corner of that stone there. There's a little extra soil up here that needs to be graded away, but that will be a beautiful area for them to be able to sit relax, enjoy the pod, feed their fish, dangle their feet in the water, whatever they may like to do. But a destination stone on a project like this is always a great thing to have. Got most of that side of the pond done. Raphael's working his way around the wetland here, and we are going to move over there with the bigger machine. Rocking this edge, and my goal is to get over into that corner by tomorrow. When we come back next week, We'll be over there working on the waterfall and water trucks will be here Tuesday. It's kind of a tight schedule, but the rate we've been setting rock and moving along, I don't think it should be a problem. This big rock was sitting over here on the side of the driveway and Christian's strapping it up right now while Felipe and Baldo are prepping the area. We're gonna fold back that fabric and liner and set this rock in there. Make it a part of the pond, try to mimic some of the other big face rocks like that over there, the one over there. And then also we have that nice feeding stone area right over there. Day nine has been Really, really busy graveling this area out, adding lights, and doing that whole edge right there. We've been busy at work. It's mid-afternoon, and we're going to be wrapping up the day a little early today. working on these large scale projects, you never know what you're gonna encounter. And over the weekend, we had probably about an inch of rain up here that came down so fast from thunder and lightning storms that it had no time for it to soak in the ground and there was a lot of runoff. The pond is pretty much full. I cannot believe it. Probably like 8,000 gallons of water. So right now we're starting off our day by pumping out the water so we can start working. Look at that behind me. I mean, the thing is almost full. As we drain this down, we'll utilize some of that water to rinse around the edges and the gravel to get this thing nice and clear because tomorrow we have water trucks coming. There is a big gully that comes down the mountain there and flows into the pond and that must have been flowing really hard. The water is all brown due to the unsettled earth around the outside of the pond right now. When we do finally fill this up there will be about six to seven inches of water over here and the water should be a little bit higher on that rock almost to the top of that rock you see poking out as well as coming over that weir that goes into the wetland. So we just got word that we have three water trucks coming tomorrow morning. Myself, Raphael, and Christian are setting the rocks for the waterfall. Felipe's going around and using our reserved water in our wetland to wash down the pond. We also have a clean out pump down below down there that's pumping that dirty water out. So cleaner water coming in, dirty water going out. And then we have Baldo over there and he's getting ready for us to help him carry gravel in so we can gravel this area out and have it ready for the three water trucks tomorrow morning. Another thing that is great is that the drain that is under the liner is working properly because all that rain coming down that mountainside and it's still pouring under the liner in the pond. The liner is not floating once we removed all the water and the drain that runs underneath the pond that is running via gravity right now in the daylight behind me so the first water truck has arrived here and we have a couple more coming today pond's still a little dirty but the lack of water on the site has been very hard to really clean the pond we probably used about 5,000 gallons of water already but the pond is so big that really probably wasn't enough we're gonna have to leave this up to the wetland filter or we'll be going through tons and tons and tons of water trucks right now it's time to run the plumbing we're gonna be running a bunch of three inch pipe as well as two inch pipe. Uh, one pipe is going to be going over to that wetland where Christian is and then we have a multiple series of pipes heading over to that waterfall area over there. There's going to be manifolds and oil valves distributing everything. I'll show you that later on after we get the plumbing done. The second water truck has arrived. We've been using some of the first water truck to rinse the wetland which is right behind me. By doing so we pump the water from the pond to the top of the wetland and we have a pump down in the bottom of this shaft here. This is the snorkel and also the clean out for the filter unit and now we're ready to start filling the wetland before we get over to finish that plumbing by the waterfall and get the waterfall in place most of the rocks are set but we have a lot of foaming to do over there and we want to wait for it to warm up a little bit so we're going to wait until early this afternoon second water truck is in the pond now and felipe and baldo are over there digging out the patio area we had to come four inches down from the feeding stone so we could put some fabric in there and a nice little bed of pea gravel that way we could move those white adirondack chairs right to the edge of the pond and they have a great great area to enjoy the fish and the waterfall 
squirrels and the aquatic plants and all the other wildlife that this pond will bring. So we are on our third load of water and it looks like we're gonna be a little shy. One more truck load and this thing should be full. That's what we're hoping for. So the fourth water truck is here and Baldo and Raphael are working on the overflow pipe. We did a three inch bulkhead running to a three inch pipe, which runs into that large pipe right there. And that goes out and pitches over the hill. We did a three inch pipe because of the flow of the water that comes in there on heavy rains. And we wanted to make sure it's controlled. We're gonna also have an emergency overflow and that's what this fabric is here for. Place those cobbles from that bucket so if any of the water floods out of the pond, this is one of the lowest edges, it has a way to get out of here. So the pond is totally filled with water and Ralphie noticed that one of the bulkheads was leaking. I think the guy's got it under control, I hope. Good old shop back, keeping the area dry. Thank gosh, it looks like we have this problem solved, but we want to double check and make sure that we do not have a leak still behind that three inch bulkhead. So we are wrapping up day 11 here up in Woodstock, New York. It was action packed for the big machine getting picked up to three loads of water, actually four loads of water here. The pond is full. Ralphie's got to come back to finish up some plumbing and some other things. He's going to be working on the waterfall area and then clean up behind me. The place is still a mess. We still have a lot of cleanup to do. So he'll be working on that over the next couple of days. So we're back up in here on Woodstock and because of my fault, I have 20 years experience, but you know what? Everybody always messes up. No one's perfect. And my guy here, Ralphie, was not the one that messed up. It was me, but he found the problem, thank gosh. Last Friday, he was up here. He turned the pumps on and water was gushing out from behind the waterfall. And he goes, Tim, I don't know what to do. He FaceTimed me and now I'm up here on Monday with him and we're fixing a problem and he's learning how to fix a problem. So he'll learn something as well as I'm gonna learn something. I better pay more attention. No one's perfect. It can happen to anyone. Let me show you what happened. So I was busy in the machine setting boulders with uh, Christian and Raphael and the guys. Uh, we had Baldo here and Felipe. I wasn't paying attention. We put this bib liner in or this extension of liner here to work for that aquascape spillway. The problem happened was behind here, right here is the pond liner. The rest of the waterfalls are hooked up to the pond liner there and that sends the water down into the pond. Well our pond liner was short here and we had two options. We had enough space for an overlap into the pond so that's what we chose to do. We should have actually took this liner here and extended it with a new piece of liner and made it longer because when the waterfall turns on this waterfall flows on that liner and into the pond. But this waterfall over here, it flows into the pond and then flows down this hillside. So what we got to do is actually get some seam tape and actually extend this piece of liner up. That way, when we seal this box, these two pieces of liner are as one. My lesson learned. And remember everyone, no one's perfect. So the guys are going to seam a little piece of the liner on the back here, get that box back in place and get this all fixed up. Thank gosh, Ralphie found this problem last week and we were able to address it immediately so we can get the waterfalls on this afternoon. One other thing that happened here, and everybody should be aware of this, if you're having a project on, whether it's Garden State Coy or any contractor, if the outside area is disturbed and tons and tons of rain come in, your pond will look like this, unfortunately. It was almost crystal clear on Friday when Ralphie sent the video and it was looking great, but because of the low-lying area and all that disturbed earth, they had about six, maybe even seven and a half inches of rain up here and that all made a wash in. There's actually some clean water running in right now from the hillside, but all this disturbance here washed into the pond. There's not really that much mud or anything in the pond. The water's just very cloudy and it's gonna take a couple of days for that big wetland filter to start clearing this up. Remember, if you like what you see on this YouTube channel, press that like button, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell. It means a lot to me and my team here at Garden State Koi. Thanks for watching. Tune in to another vlog next week. And no, that is the great point. That is the perfect point for you to enjoy the pond from. That's stupid, don't put that in.